Okay, so here we are. We said we will discuss the solution for this particular question. And uh, let's do that. Let's say I need to, so my question is number of days. And what is the, you need to find out. Say for example, if the user's user enters, you need to tell the user to enter the number of days. He enters 586. And I need to tell him, okay, 586 days is equal to one year, seven months and 11 days. I need to tell him, let's say I'm going to say it with a, uh, you know a comma so one year seven months and 11 days okay this is what i'm going to tell him so i'm going to tell him to enter whatever whatever he wants to enter okay any particular day so how do i tell him that i'm going to tell the user to enter so if i tell the user to enter i need to say it with an input function input input enter the enter the number of days and what does he enter he says he enters and of course i need to convert it into an integer and i need to say okay so what have we have entered i need to store it in a variable say days i say days now what must i do okay after i say days equal to int input enter the number of days now what do i need to do is i need to i need to say whatever are the number of days i need to put it up let's start by doing the same logic which we discussed a little time back okay so how much will be the number of years from the total number of days can i say number of years is going to be floor division by 365 i don't need to explain that because i explained that in the earlier one days floor division by 365 is the number of years okay what about the number of whatever the number of remaining so can i say i'm going to define a remaining variable and the remaining variable is going to say it's going to return well so remaining is going to be the days the total number of days instead of floor division can i say it's going to be modulus modulus what modulus 365 and then i'm going to say that is going to be my remaining number of days now from my remaining number so this is my remainder over here where's that uh i got 221 days as a remainder if if i say the number of days is 586 i'm just taking that as an example okay so remaining is now 221 now from 221 i need to I need to divide by 30 to get seven months so which means i'm going to say the number of months are going to be equal to the remaining number of days module oh sorry floor division by 30 floor division by 30 is that right again i need to find a new remaining now how do i find the new remaining whatever was the earlier remainder modulus 30 is going to give me the new remainder of days yes or no now what is this remainder now this is nothing but the number of the number of can i say i'll just say for now d because the number of days is i just make this as a variable number of days so let's say d d and let me call this as mm and let me call this as y oh sorry this one is yy so so we have a standard and this dd is now going to be your remaining number of days yes or no okay now with this done can i can i do something like uh, print it out how do i print it out i need to print what do i need to print i need to say as i told you i need to say 586 days is equal to y okay so i'm going to say like this i'm going to print 586 days where is 586 i need to say days i cannot say 586 i need to say whatever the user has said days comma and i need to say it uh, I need to say 586 and then with a okay 586 days and I need to say 586 days is equal to right 586 days is equal to y is equal to and then I need to let's say the end of this the end of this print statement I'm not going to make it as a new line but I'm going to make it as a space and I'm going to end this okay why did I do that can I say the space between these two parameters the space between these two parameters days comma and this particular parameter can i say what is the space or the separation can be a space that is already there i don't need to change it okay but i'm going to print what now i'm going to print i'm going to print how many years how many years so can i say why 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 um, why why years why why year with a comma then i'm gonna say years oh sorry yeah years months and mm months and how many days comma 
duty to save days. Of course, save and then I do a function f5 and we will say 586. Boom! 586 days equal to 1 year, 7 months, and 11 days. And I'm right, yes or no? So, this is how you make the program to, you make the computer to program something which you can do with the calculations. This is how you make use of your arithmetic operators and how you make use of your function and how you change the default parameter and uh, how you take the input from the user. Hope you are at a good level now for Python, taking input, output, and also printing them out using the operators. Uh, one last program on this, and I think you should be through and through with this. Consider you go to an ATM, okay? You go to an ATM and you ask, uh, you know, you tell the user to enter how much money he, re he requires. So he's going to enter, he's going to enter something like this. He says, he says, I need uh, I need 2,800 rupees. He needs 2,800. Remember, make the user make the user to enter only in multiples, only in multiples of, uh, let's say, in multiples of 50. Okay. So that ATM machine, that ATM machine has notes of that ATM machine has notes of 2,000. It has notes of it has notes of 500. It has notes of 200. It has notes of 100. And it has notes of, okay, so you have, the ATM has notes of these. So, you need to calculate if the user enters 2850, if the user enters 2850, how many notes of 2000, how many notes of 500, how many notes of 200, how many notes of 100, and how many notes of 50 needs to be given to him. Let's make a, let's make a calculation ourselves. Okay, so if it is 2850, I know that I know that 2000 2000 he will require 2000 um, the 2000 ka notes he will require so let's say one then he'll require for uh, the remaining amount that is 850 850 that can be 500 notes can be one again right so 500 gone now after 500 what is the remaining is it 2000 gone 500 gone, remaining is 350. Can I say 200? 200 cut note, can I give him 1? Yes. Now, what if it's remaining? What if it's remaining 100? 100, yes. I need to give him that. And if I say 50, 50, how many? 1. Are you able to understand? 